Welcome back, children. Let's get our magic on, shall we? Hmm? Enhancing musical talent. Add one handful of hot, dry sand to the f glass flask filled with seawater. So we'll take our seawater, dump it in our flask. You fill the flask with ocean water from your cup. Next, we'll take. I believe this You're is. You're carrying a handful of sand yes. from the desert. Hot desert sand. You add a handful of sand to the flask. Place one handful of fertile soil to the gla to the flask, and then shake the flask. So we need the fertile soil. I believe this is it. You're carrying a handful of fertile soil from the bear family's garden. Let's do it. You add a handful of fertile soil to the flask. Now it says to shake the contents. You shake the flask's contents until they are thoroughly mixed. And we'll recite the sp oh, wait, 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 wave the first and then recite the spell. Make sure you do it in order, children. You wave, wave the magic wand over the flask. Recite the spell. With trepidation, you prepare to recite the Enhancing Musical Talent incantation. Earth bearing fruit from one's toiling hands, with patience of timeless, swift sifting sands, swirl through endurance, soaked salty with seas, permit me to please all musically. You feel the contents of the flask stir slightly as you finish the incantation. Alright, so that's spell number two. We'll go ahead and save spell two. We still have a bit of time, so let's check the book for the last couple spells. Uh, we want to boil a cup of ocean water. Put in a spoonful of mud, a pinch of toadstool powder. We can grab those on our next trip outside. Cut a cactus with a knife. Squeeze the juice onto a spoon. Place the juice into a bowl. We need a jar of lard for this to work, and we have to grab that later. Grind one dried mandrake root with a mortar, mortar and pestle. We can do that later. Put that into a bowl. We get two spoons of fish oil, which we have to get later. A small ball of cat hair. Stir the mixture. Put the dough on the table. And there's... This page has been torn from the book. There's no more. So... We are currently out of spells to create. Let's get on back upstairs and replace our naughtiness. You quickly pull the levers in the correct sequence. One thing of note, whenever you click on those books again, it will automatically open the trap door so you can toss out your little code. We're gonna try and get some cat hair from Kitty here. Nimbly, you grab the nasty cat by the scruff of its neck, avoiding its needle-sharp claws. And now that you have it, what are you going to do with it? <laughs> you manage to pluck some fur before he viciously scratches and leaps from your arms. With grim satisfaction, you survey your wounds. Stupid cat. Whether you know it or not, you just helped me. Yay. Alright, we're replacing the wand. You carefully replace the magic wand exactly as you found it. The cabinet door locks as you shut it. Break on out of here. I still have plenty of time, but I'm going to go ahead and put some thing put my things back. You drop to your hands and knees and hide the item under your bed. Everything with the blue outline needs to be hidden. Done. And I realize I hid the porridge. Oh, wait. Done. Retrieve. Porridge. Done. Now we wait. I'll make sure I closed everything. Everything looks kosher in here. Hello, kitty. 
We've got everything out of here. It's just your old tin bucket. Can I grab There's it? There's no hole in this bucket. Why bother with it? <laughs> Check our inventory, make sure we'll grab something for him to eat. Do not feed him the porridge yet. We need that for later. But it looks like we have everything, so we'll go ahead and go in back in here. And putz around until our timer switches. Oh, it's red. Your best bet just to make this easier is to go into the kitchen and wait. you'll notice we have 73 out of 210 points so we're getting along rather well he should be here shortly the wizard's glare makes you suddenly feel very very small I am hungry. Prepare me a meal at once. Yeah, yeah, you ornery old fart. Eat it. Alright, what's cool about this is after he's eaten, you can go to your room. And sleep. You get points for sleeping, I believe. Oh, never mind. You see an evil sneer come across the wizard's face. I am going to lie down for a rest. Do not disturb me. Yes, master. Alright, timer started again. Let's get on with it. There's some more stuff to do. Take Dropping everything. Into your hands and knees, you reach under the bed and retrieve all of your possessions. And we'll break on out. A quicker way to use your map is to get the finger icon and just you click on it. Your magic map. All right. What we want to do is go to town. You feel a strange pulling sensation. Pull it Ooh. me for you, sir. A good pull at ale, or you're rather a drama rum. My, ain't you the handsome one? Well, we've got those guys in there, so we can test one of our spells. Uh, our saffron, we can mix it with... Ha! Check it out. Flutter on in there, and get close. You overhear snatches of the two bandits' conversation. Squirmed just like a pig. And that rope you rigged inside that big oak tree works great. Now nobody here will find our hideout. Why? Oh. And bust on out. Talk. So ends my fun. My flight's now done. Oh. Your spell is wearing off. You can prematurely end the spell so you can get back into doing stuff. I've got a loot on the wall. Can I help you there? Just wondering where this instrument came from. Young man used to come in here a long time ago. At your age, according to me daddy, had that thing he liked to play. Seemed to make him happy. The barmaid looks like she can handle anything from rowdy Pete. They're asking for more ale, which wastes my time. Kind of sucks. The loot made this young man happy? Nah, he ain't done it for the money. Just like to play is all. You know, entertain the customers. Who was he? Don't rightly remember. I was only a wee mite then. I think he lived with the wizard. Though I might be mistaken. Why does the loot now hang on the wall? One day the young man stopped coming over. Daddy found the instrument lying just outside. Said it was real weird how the air around it smelled all smoky. Though there weren't no fire about. Anyway, he put it on the wall. In case the man should come back for it. Do you think he will? Hard to say. 
No one's seen him in years. May I borrow the loot? You one of the musy types? Um, yes, I am. A lot of man who explores his creative side. Indeed, I'd very much like to practice with it. Of course you can have it. Thank you. If you agree to play for the establishment. You want me to play for you? You're catching on good. I don't think that I'm ready to perform publicly. Oh, go on. We ain't had a good performance round here for years. I couldn't. Really. Well, the loot will be there if you change your mind. We'll grab that in a second. There's a little cutscene that comes with it. And I'll make that the start of the next video. For now, we can get some other stuff. What we do here is combine our eagle feather with our drink. Oh no, it's a spider! <laughs> Her splash. There's actually a couple cutscenes that we'll be seeing in the next video, so we'll pass on this spot for now. Head south again. One more south. One more south. You can grab some mistletoe. You search among the hanging mistletoe until you find a sprig that has dried. You break it off and carry it with you. We have that now. Uh, I don't think there's anything else that we can explore here yet, so we'll go back into the bar. Uh, don't drink the ale. If you drink the ale, you die. <laughs> so we'll go ahead and save with loot. And drink the ale just so I can show you. Hand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You need to keep a clear head. Besides, even the drips have a nose curdling stench. You really shouldn't. The stuff smells extremely foul. <coughs> As you gasp your last, you see writing on the barrel's underside. Brood in Spielberg. <laughs> Alright, we'll restore the game and pick up in the next one.